Hi guys, uh, I'm going to be reviewing today an exceptional rum. It's uh, Santa Teresa 1796. Now, this rum is from Venezuela and um, it was launched back in 1996 to celebrate 200 years of Hacienda Santa Teresa, the house of Santa Teresa. So, you know, 200 years, back in 96, 200 years of rum production. Fantastic, you know, big history there. Um, it's done in the, as you can see on here, it says Santa Teresa, 1996, Ram Hanio uh, de Solera. So it's as done in the Solera system, which um, I've explained is very, very basically, but what I can uh, take of the, of the Solera system is it's an ancient system that's been going for 500 years or more uh, in the sherry making industry within Spain and obviously uh, rum producers of some rum producers have taken this system to give more complex flavors to their rum by putting it through different different types of barrels now the Santa Teresa um, it's done through they get four oak barrels on the bottom four high you know and what they do then is the um, the rum cascades through the layers of barrels so you get you put the rum in at the top it spends a time into the, into the first barrel. They let out a portion of the rum into the second barrel. And they just keep letting out a portion into each barrel continuously and aging. And it takes on flavor from each barrel as, as it's, and uh, complexity from the barrels itself and flavor and until it gets to the bottom barrel. Now, when it gets to the bottom barrel, they um, take a portion of rum from the bottom barrel and they put it into oak bats to mature. But what they do is um, they take the mother rum, which is could be up to 25 year old, and they blend it with high purity aged rums. And then when it rece receives the desired maturity, they decant it by cascade one portion into each section. So they get that rum when it's been aged to a certain time and then they put it through the Solera and then out of the Solera, a portion of it, into vats. And then what they do is there's always uh, an amount of rum left within the Solera system, which then goes back through. So it's kind of just a continual process. Um, like I say, um, this rum here is very complex in flavor. It's, um, it's, you could, it takes on so much flavor from the Solera that it is, Pretty excellent, I must admit. I'm going to take a little sip, and we'll have a see what we can. Uh... Now, straight away, when you look at that in that bowl, I don't know if you can see it yourself, but there's a hell of a red. It's sort of like a quite there's a reddish tint to it, I think. And um, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a little reddish amber colour there. I like it. Now, I take a smell. You can smell honey. Lots of fruity aroma in there. Yeah, oh, what's that? Smell now? It's very sugary, sweet, cinnamon, maybe. It's beautiful, beautiful rum. Now, I'm taking a little sip. Oh, that's lovely. Now, now that, it's got a real oakiness to this rum. I do, there is an oakiness to it. Um, Honey, sweet sweetness to it, like a maple syrupy sweetness. Um, there's a fruitiness to it, really nice fruit. I can't put my my head my finger on the fruit. It's just got a real fruity flavour, um, very rich. You know where it's taken on so much flavour through the system, the layer system. It's very complex in flavour, really. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a really, I would say, dry, oaky finish to it. A dry, oaky finish for sure. Now, this rum's been um, named best rum in the world 
by international juries and um, like I say I don't I don't put I wouldn't I wouldn't ever trip myself turn around and say that rum's the best one in the world unless I'm 100% sure and I wouldn't say that I would have the knowledge to uh, put my to say that myself but it is certainly an exceptional one and at the price I've shopped around and the price is 39.75 a bottle what I can which I checked this morning on and for that price for such a complex rum and to, to, uh, such a beautiful tasted rum um, is a bargain you know yeah I would say 30 39 pound under 40 pound a bottle for a, a rum of that quality you can't go wrong uh, so my name's Andy and I say enjoy